Glendon Forgies um, YDNA results came in yesterday on April 1st, which it seemed like an April Fool's joke at first because, oh my God, I, I didn't believe <laughs> that um, he was he could be R in the R Haplo group. So he is not related to any of the other testers, um, any of the other men who have already tested. Uh, he's in the the R uh, R one B R one B one A haplo group, and this is one of the most common haplo groups in Western Europe. And because of that, uh, you really have to test a lot more than than the twelve markers we tested in order to find. Um, really good matches because it's just such a common haplo group that um, at 12 markers you have matches that were probably related to you a thousand years ago so it's not not the greatest haplo group to, to be in because of that but it's interesting that we found out that all the Vorgies are not related I mean it's coming down to we have so now we have three different haplo groups. We have Andrew Forgey of Maury County belonging to the I2B1A group along with Andrew Forgey of Hawkins County, Tennessee, Samuel Forgey of North Carolina and his descendants in Kentucky are all in the, the I2B1A group. And this is a Scottish clad, so that it goes back in Scotland probably over a thousand years. So the family had been in Scotland for over a thousand years. Then we have the I1 group, which the Robert Forgey family of Pennsylvania belongs to, and that would be a Viking haplo group. So. Their ancestors were of a, a Scandinavian Viking origin. And that's where we stand right now. So let's take a look at the results page. So I have to group um, Glendon as our, he is already grouped as R1B1A2. And so that's gonna be Bourbon County Hugh Forgey and and here's all of our I2B1 group and our I1 group so that's where we stand now and I expect that we'll get more results <laughs> probably next week or the week after for Jeremy Forgety and for Robert Forgey so can't wait to see what happens then. That's going to be really interesting. So I'll talk to you then. Goodbye. Uh -huh.